Okay, we're going to begin with how to download GIMP. Um, to start off with, you need to select a web browser. I'm going to use Google Chrome. I'm going to just Google it. It's actually GIMP.org. I know that. I just feel like doing it this way. So you go to GIMP, and right away you'll see this main page. Go to download. Click it right here. English. This option right here. When you click it, it'll start the download. Now, if you're using Internet Explorer, it'll do a couple different things. It might have a drop-down bar here. Just double-click it, and it'll say Tempor temporarily allow, and it'll run the installer. Um, on Google Chrome, it sends it right here. Click save. Click the uh, Right now, mine's set to save it in my downloads folder. And after it downloads, I'll run the installer and go through the setup process, um, and then I'll have GIMP on the computer. So, yeah, just go to the website, click that button. Okay, I have a shortcut to GIMP on my desktop. I'm going to open it up. I have it installed. I'm going to launch the program. Uh, I'm going to open my project file. So right now, I've actually completed the drawing in an earlier tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to go back through and break down what I did. So I'm going to start off by opening it up. I'm going to click on my tutorial folder. Here's my project file. I'm just going to actually drag and drop it right into GIMP. And here we go. There's our finished project pro, uh, product. I'm going to now show you the steps to get to here. How to paint up to this point. Now, um, as an artist, I can continue to edit and add more lighting, more shadowing, background. But this is a basic level. You know, this took me about 20 minutes. It wasn't hard. I'll teach you how to quickly paint any drawing you do in GIMP. So to start off with, we need to open something that's extremely important to painting, and that is layers. Layers are crucial to doing a good job while painting in any photo manipulation program. So we'll begin by clicking up at the top where you see Windows. Don't be fooled. We don't want that. We want Windows because we need the right toolbox. Make sure you have your toolbox out. If you don't, this is how you get it out. Go to Windows, and you can click Toolbox right here. So say I don't have my toolbox. I exit out of it. Um, I actually exited out of all of GIMP. Just give me a second. If you do, uh, I'm still rusty with some of GIMP's features. Okay, so if you exit out of the toolbox, apparently it closes all of GIMP. Good to know. It's a little weird. Alright, on Photoshop, you can close the toolbar, and GIMP will, I mean, Photoshop will stay open. Uh, but apparently, if I close this, it's going to close this too. So, okay, that's fine. Um, no worries then. Your toolbar should be there. Your toolbox should be there. But what you need is dockable dialogues. And these are all all the different, um, basically just different tool sets that you can use. Uh, some of these can be accessed through the toolbox. But what we want is layers. The shortcut for layers is Control L. So go ahead and click on layers. So it's Windows, dockable dialogues, layers. There we go. This is a very little, this little box is very important. So make sure you have this open before you do anything, before we even get started. And that's how to get layers open. Okay, next is importing or opening a project file. The way to do that is to go to File, Open, and then from here you can open any sort of project file you have. Right now my directory is set to open on my pictures. I want to actually change it to, to desktop, and from desktop I want to change it to new folder. Not new folder, desktop I want to change it to tutorial. And here's my project file right here. You can see it over here. Um, and I also need this one as a reference image. But um, to, uh, another way you can get these in is you can just drag and drop them directly from this box here. So Sid coming in, finish project right here. Now I have my layers box, I have my toolbox, and I have my project. Okay. Now I'm going to actually start from the beginning. So ignore what I'm doing right now. This will all make sense in a second. All right. So to begin with, the first thing I did when I opened up this drawing, this don't even worry about the layers. Don't even look at it right now it's about this. This is what you see. You just scanned your picture in or you just finished um, drawing it in paint or wherever you've been working and you're ready to paint it. Okay, so you open up the project file and you close all the other folders. Now with a lot of computers uh, photo editing programs can use up a lot of memory so I'm going to go ahead and close other applications I have running down here in the toolbar to make sure that my computer has plenty of memory but it's just a good idea to go ahead and shut some of these other ones down to make sure your computer will be able to, to run this without glitching or lagging at all. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is get a base color. 
Now, we don't know what we want our colors to be yet. I know he needs to be some browns and some yellows, but I'm not really sure about all those colors. So what I did is I went to Google, and I typed in Sid, and then Ice Age to be more specific. There we go. We got lots of pictures. And I actually, what I, all I did is I went in, I w clicked on this picture here, oh, sorry, this picture here, opened it up, right-clicked on it with the mouse, and saved it onto my desktop. And then from there, I dragged and dropped it from my desktop into GIMP, and it puts it on its own layer. And here you go. There's the picture. Now, what you can do to get the colors from the picture is take the selection tool over here. You can use the shortcut O to grab it. It's a selection tool. It's for picking up colors off a picture. Make sure that this, the new, when you drag and drop the image into your layers, it's going to create a new layer for it. Make sure it's selected, and then you can pick up your colors. So I picked up one dark brown, one light brown, and um, one purple for the uh, for the nose. And then you can turn this layer off by clicking the I button, and you'll have your bottom layer, your background layer, which is the original picture, and you can pick the paintbrush. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, make sure that it's selected. I'm going to go ahead and paint the colors down. So I have, I'm on this layer now, the, very, the background layer. And you won't have all these middle layers. Uh, those are all from, my, from when I actually did the project. And I'll teach you about them in a second. You should only have two layers right now. You'll have background and you'll have the, the picture. You can turn the picture on and off by clicking this I button. If you want to draw on a layer, you have to have it selected, highlighted, blue like this one is. You do that by clicking on it. So if you want to draw on your background, make sure you've clicked on it. If you want to draw on your um, on your reference, your color reference, make sure you click on it. If you don't want to see your color reference anymore, turn it off with the eye button. The eye just allows you to either see or not see a layer. Okay, so there we go. I need to pick up, I'm going to press O on my keyboard, grabbing this brown here, and I'm going to go back to my background. I'm going to turn this layer off. Scroll down back to my background layer. Make sure you click on it. Make sure it's highlighted. Press P for paintbrush and paint it. Get that color on there. Okay, go back up. Color reference. Turn it back on. Eyedropper tool. Make sure it's selected. Gonna get my medium, like gray color. There it is. Scroll. Oops. Scroll back down. Select it. Oop. Turn off this layer. Scroll down. Make sure it's selected. Paintbrush. Drop it down. Okay, so now I have my three basic colors. These are the colors I'm going to use to get my base colors. So next, um, I want you to hit this button here. Press it. Okay, that's going to allow you to create a new layer. Um, and actually, before you do that, I want you to make sure make sure background layer is selected. And then after, you know, background layer is highlighted, click new layer. That's what this is going to do. This button here creates a new layer. Click it name it base color okay make sure it's on transparent that's important you don't want it to be on white okay so be certain it's transparent don't mess with the size you have it named press ok okay so that created your new layer called base color and this is going to be the basic body color now whenever you have a, a layer highlighted you have a couple of options on things you can do with that layer. Okay, the layers stack on top of each other. So if you want to create a new layer on top of base color, make sure base color is selected. Then you hit the button again, and you could call it base color 2. And it's going to stack the next layer above base color. So now I have background, base color, base color 2. Okay, so if I have this layer selected, and I create a new layer, it's going to put it on top of it. And if I have this layer selected, and I create a new layer by pressing this, it'll create the next layer, one up, and so forth. Okay, so with your base color layer, grab the first, um, the main color, use the eyedropper tool here. So grab that color. Um, oh, make sure you've selected background. Then you can grab it, because you won't be able to otherwise. Switch to paintbrush. Go to your base color layer. Now this is the important part. When you have base color layer selected, go up to mode here at the top. Click it. Click multiply. And then you can start coloring. Now the, what multiply does is it allows it for your lines. The paint won't ever cover up your lines um, to the point where it erases them. What I mean is right now it's here. You can see it. it's on multiply. 
Um, you see what it's doing with the lines, it's not hurting them, you can still see the lines. If I switch it, the mode back to normal like it originally was, the lines disappear. So we want to keep it on multiply, okay, and, um, you know, obviously keep it clean, erase any mistakes you make, and go ahead and fill in the entire body with your base color. The first color, the darkest color, is going to go on first. So go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so I deleted the two layers that I just created for you as an example um, by right-clicking on them and then selecting delete. I'll show you. You can go right-click and then go all the way down and go to delete. But I'm not going to, I mean, I already deleted those two that I just created. was just an example of how to create layers. Again, you press this button and it'll stack it. So if I have base color selected here, if I create a new layer, it's going to, I created inside body next. So we're going to go back to base color and I'm going to turn it on. Okay, so that was my base color that I used, and my body is now colored. Next up, we need to go back to base color, select create new layer. We're going to call it inside body, or base color 2, whichever you want. Make sure it's transparent, and click OK. Uh, and I'm not going to click OK, because I already did. Here's my second layer here, the one I'm telling you to create right now. I called it inside body. But go ahead and make it, um, and create that layer, and, and name it. Keep your layers organized. That's very important.